a lot on television last night. First thing I really want to check out, though, LeBron James. I have to check that out first. Going back to Akron. I'm coming home. I'm coming He's coming home last night. Eight turnovers. The beleaguered Knicks went into Cleveland. Yeah, that wasn't great. I, I'm not going to lie to you. That's pretty bad, actually, for a coming home thing. Yeah, that, that was that was ugly. In fact, it was so bad. Listen to the play-by-play. -play. <laughs> they were talking about how bad LeBron was, and he got worse right in front of them. Carmelo will defend James. I can't remember LeBron playing this for in a long, long time for a whole game. No, absolutely not. There's another turnover. <laughs> I can't remember him being this bad. Oh, he just got worse. But remember when they went to Miami his first year for 17 games? They were 9-8. and eight. It's a great example that you can't just roll out a basketball. You know, they're not playing Tunisia. This is not the dream team where you could just roll out the basketball. The NBA, Knicks have a bunch of good shooters. Knicks is going to shoot their way to about 37, 38 wins, I think. They're too small. Don't have enough elite defenders. This is the NBA. Team comes in hyped, over-anxious, tired, weary. Knicks have been smoked the day before. Chip on their shoulder. Um, but you can't overanalyze this stuff. And a lot of times, here's the thing. Even with great product, and I think the Cavs eventually will be great, with every Apple product, every time they bring out a new product, all it does is get smashed. It always has a glitch. It goes through growing pains. Remember when the iPhone came out? I do. Said Ed Bragg of USA Today, the most remarkable thing about it is what it's missing. No stylus is provided. Your fingers have to control everything. Then I read down here, another critic says, it's exasperating. It's no match for the hardware keyboard you get on the BlackBerry. Technology and stuff. Yeah, I mean, the reality is, even with great product, They've now sold their 500 millionth iPhone. When the iPad came out, oh, the iPad, is, where's the keyboard? I'm not really a guy that rushes to buy stuff, but I got the iPad. I'm, I'm, I'm sitting there for three minutes. I'm like, oh, this is, this is a game changer. And I'm not a guy that knows that stuff. I'm not a guy that lives for that stuff. First time I got the iPhone, I'm like, wow, this, this makes my life a lot easier. Trust me, in April, the Cavs are going to be one of the best teams in basketball. And the Knicks, they'll be scrapping at the bottom of the East, trying to get into the playoffs. 38, 39 wins, maybe. Shoot their way. But you can't, you, you can't get all caught up in that stuff. Listen, here's one of the things we've learned. And not only do the fans do this, but even the media does this. I love LeBron. I love LeBron. I love LeBron. Oh, I hate LeBron. I hate LeBron. Burn his jersey. Burn his jersey. Oh, he's ours? Buy his jersey. Buy his jersey. Dan Levitard, who I love, Dan Levitard, was the ultimate, LeBron's a great human, this is outrageous. Now Levitard has turned on LeBron overnight because LeBron is the great gift, the prettiest girl. And it, when you don't get a date her or she breaks up with you, the jealousy and the animosity comes out. So Levitard, LeBron created this, his group of people created this new commercial. It's really, really good. It's unbelievable. It shows him going back home to Akron. His mom. Akron is home. This is the city that raised you. Have you seen this? It's really, really good. I'm so proud of you. The Beats by Dre commercial. Welcome home, son. Shows him walking around. Akron. It's amazing. But Levitard, who an hour ago loved LeBron, brings his dad on his radio show, and they do a bit parodying that commercial. Actor on the softball. <laughs> <laughs> that needs a CD that betrayed you. <laughs> I'm so disappointed in you. <laughs> that place is a dump. <laughs> Don't ever forget, you were afraid to post up J.J. Barrea. <laughs> <laughs> so, I mean, this is the world that LeBron lives in.
You know what I mean? He's the league supermodel, and whenever he breaks up with somebody, the people who loved him hate him. I mean, Cleveland, like, burn a jersey, burn a jersey. Oh, buy a jersey, buy a jersey. Dan Gilbert, outrageous. Flew him back. LeBron makes your team better. You'd all die for him to be on your team. The minute he leaves, you're burnt. You'll never get a girlfriend that cute. The minute he comes back, oh, my God, I miss you. Let's just be self-aware to understand what's going on. Even Levitard. Levitard's on the LeBron's a bad guy. LeBron's a great guy. He's a great guy. He's an amazing player. But last night, too hyped up. Uh, they just weren't ready to go. You can't just roll the ball out. And, uh, and, and he had 17 points, but eight turnovers. It was your, your typical John Wall line. 17 points and eight turnovers. And a loss. It was just like John Wall. Mm, sorry about that little shot there. Um, but just let's just, come on. It's just fun. It's just fun. And, and, you know, I was telling the guys this morning, they're all, all my guys that work on the show are all Knicks fans. I, I, I like the Knicks. I think they're a year away from being interesting. But come on, that's a 37-win team. That's a 37-38 win team. They're tiny. Uh, you know, they're just, they're not going to win a ton of games. But they're, they'll shoot their way to a bunch of wins in this league. I mean, when you do these back-to-back-to-back -to -back -to -back games, you come in rested, the other team's shot. You know, by the way, if Chicago plays Cleveland tonight, Chicago's going to has a chance to just roll them because Chicago is really, really good, and their chemistry works better right now.